Now, you mentioned Leading by Nature, which is, of course, also the name of this podcast and the book. You know, how did you first come across my work? And and I, I think now you've, you've ended up reading um, um, a number of my books. And, um, you know, we actually met through your podcast. You kindly invited me to be on your podcast. Is there anything you want to share about Leading by Nature and how it relates to your work? Uh, absolutely. So I came... Uh, um roundabout i i have all of your books and i and i and cherish and, and love them all i've seen your your work over the years uh we first and foremost we had a wonderful podcast i have a podcast inside ideas that you were on and we spoke about leading by nature and uh regenerative leadership and and some of your other work with laura storm and your other your other books a little bit but mainly about leading by nature and how it really touched me my organization and fit so nicely and, and i was honest to tell you that before i i'd read leading by nature my favorite book of all time was not um not that old actually was um the web of meaning by jeremy lent um, because it was a culmination of all the wisdom knowledge schooling education systems symbiosis putting everything together in one book and then moving towards that direction, towards ecological civilizations, towards regeneration, and what are the models of the future. I really loved it. He was also on the podcast. But then when I read your book, it just totally topped the web of meaning. I have to apologize to Jeremy Lent that, that you know, hey, uh, sorry, no no hard feelings, but you really also complete, completely cover all the aspects give good practical wisdom to get out of the just a uh theory and philosophy into the actual transformation to apply to your organization and uh that podcast has been a numerous success uh um, that we had and, and resonated with people all over the world went out to 1.2 million people on apple news and, and uh has numerous views and feedback and then you know i i ended up giving everybody in the foundation and many other organizations that book as their their tool book their guidebook to kind of uh make that shift and and transformation because it resonates from chapter to chapter from beginning to end it's not only a great read but i, I feel like it's a guide it's never uh far away from reach wherever i go and um uh, you know, just just the other day was telling tell people there saying, so, okay, what would you suggest? And that's the first thing I always recommend because it's really uh, easy to uh, understand, easy to to find out how you can apply it into your life, into your organization, and um, the results are immediately uh, noticeable. So as I gave it to my uh, founding members of my foundation um, at our annual meeting, and you also did a little uh, video for us, uh, within three days after I gave that book out at the annual meeting, I got four calls back from the members that had already finished the book and said, thank you, thank you, thank you, and this is applicable here, and then this is what I'm doing, this is how I'm using it, uh, why you've opened my you to things that I had never and didn't understand. That these people are in the in, in the Aloha Regenerative Foundation. They're already on the regenerative path, and they're already wise, super people, and very sustainable at, in their practices and being. And even they weren't fully aware of what what it means and how to apply it, and 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 the the great things that the wisdom that can be found. Gosh, well, I have to say, I'm in awe of of your work. Um, we have different energies. We do different things, and that's what we need. This diversity. You're out there. We obviously share a very similar, I feel, sort of um, soul font, if you like. Uh, I'd also like to thank Laura Storm, who originally connected. You know, that made the connection in my mind to you and your work. I mean, just seeing you out there doing everything you do. This sort of relentless 
uh, love you must have i feel because uh, it's also something i I'm, I'm i'm deeply passionate about is working with our soul craft and when we work with our soul craft there's a love that comes through what we do it doesn't feel so much like inverted commas work it is obviously still work and it requires inner work all the time it's not like we're suddenly perfect far from it but we are flowing we're, we're kind of doing our thing it's our passion 